So let me explain this a little bit more in depth uh, for you guys. So Keenan came to us in the pre ADTC phase where he wanted to do a camp. He just gotten kicked out or left Atos, whatever the case was, and uh, he needed a place to train. So, okay, no problem. Uh, you know, come to Henzo's. And this is already was when all the Brazilians hated him because of the thing he said about Hicks and being a purple belt, whatever the case is. Fine, doesn't matter. ADCC is coming up. Come to Henzo's, train with us, do your camp. Now, Keenan's in my weight class. Uh, so I was going to have to compete against him most likely. Uh, I know that Keenan got way more from Henzo's than he would have getting sitting on his couch not training in San Diego with no place to train because his school wasn't open then and he had no place to really train in San Diego. The only place he could... He had, like, no place to train for ADCC because uh, Shanji is, like, way north, I'm pretty sure, up in L.A., so he's he's far away from everyone. He can't really train with anybody. So I'm like, no problem. Come and train with us. So he comes in. He trains. He gets there for the last four weeks of a 12-week camp, and he does, like, one to two sessions a week, and... Like, gets beat up by everybody and tries to do the stuff that we are doing but can't really get the hang of it. So, you know, he's kind of in this phase where he's in between using his A game and trying to learn new stuff. But that's irrelevant. I'm, I'm rambling now. He gets an eye infection. And he says, oh, I can't do ADCC. So, okay. So, he goes home and he apparently starts complaining to the ADCC officials him and Josh Hinger are trying to get us kicked out because he thinks that we have an eye infection. And it's like, it's like, wait, we just gave you the best school, the best camp in the world to train with for a month, even knowing that I could be competing against you. And now you're going to go behind our back and try to get us kicked out of the most important tournament in the world. Like, how does that make sense? Uh, you know, Hinger is just a complete cunt, so I would expect that from Hinger, but not from Keenan because we were supposed to be friends and I was supposed to, you know, we gave him everything. We taught him, you know, we did all we could to help him, you know, uh, to help him do well. So that was, uh, that was confusing, but, you know, still I was like, okay, you know, maybe, uh, you know, maybe there's just a misunderstanding. Things got, things got kind of weird and, uh, you know, stories got mixed up, whatever the case is. Let me give him the benefit of the doubt. No problem. And so, like, keep in mind, like, this wasn't just jujitsu. Like, he was, like, coming to, like, lift with me and Nat. Like, Nat was showing him everything he had to do to, like, be successful as, like, an athlete. Not, like, not on the mats, obviously. Um, he was, like, asking us for a diet advice. Like, we did everything that we could to possibly give him the best training camp that he could have. Um, and we, we genuinely tried to help him. Even if you look at, if you go look back at Nogi Pans, he was like, oh, you know, you know, Coach Gordon, like, brought me to victory or he brought me to victory, whatever the case is. Um, you know, like I was there coaching him. I like missed the day train to go coach him at Pan Am's. Like we did everything we could to help him get better at Nogi Jiu Jitsu. Like he didn't even want to do the absolute at Nogi Pants. And I like pushed him. Like, he lost the division to Vinicius. And then I was like, you know, you should do the absolute. Like I was like pressuring him. Like do the absolute, do the absolute. Who cares? Like fucking do the absolute. And then he won. He was like, oh, thanks so much. Like, you know, if it wasn't for you, I would have never done it. So anyways, we did everything we possibly could to help him. Then he goes and tries to get our whole team kicked out of ADCC, which I'm like, okay, you know, whatever the case is, misunderstanding, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, wasn't an issue. Then, like, a month later, I see people sending me, like, dozens of people sending me clips of Keenan teaching the things that he thinks that he learned, which he was terrible at them anyway, so he didn't even learn them. He's teaching the things that he thinks he learned from John's class on his website and selling it for money like how how do you not see there's an issue there so then okay that's strange whatever the case is okay still nothing no no problem you know i was like freaked out on him in the, in the messages i said like you know don't train with us anymore like you know if you're gonna fucking take our shit and then sell it for, as your own shit like we don't want you training with us anymore it's i mean we won't need you we have a ton of other guys who are good uh, so I still, nothing publicly, nothing happened. So then he closes his gym down. He's the first person to close his gym down. Um, now Keenan is just naturally a very lazy person. 
and you see his jiu-jitsu just degenerating as years go on. He's being, becoming less and less successful. Um, he doesn't train, uh, so naturally to shut down the gym for him, it's great because he doesn't have to teach anymore. He doesn't like, he doesn't enjoy teaching. Um, so he's the first person to shut the gym down and is talking shit to us. Well, not to me, but to Tom and to Tom and Gary about not shutting their gyms down. And it's like, like, first of all, mind your own fucking business. It has it's like this, their school, it's their business. Like the, let them do whatever the fuck they want. Um, so that happened. And then like, we posted a picture of us training and he goes out and like publicly blasts us for it. And not only us, he like calls out John. Now, John wasn't there. John has not been running classes at Henzo's. Henzo's has been closed. And he like is calling out John for us training at Tom's. John wasn't there. Like, how do you know that John was the one encouraging us to train? How do you know John didn't tell us not to train and we just didn't listen? We're all 20 something, 30 something year old like adults. Like, why are you calling out John? What does John have to do with it? Like, if you, if you really didn't want to get attention, why wouldn't you just go to John and say something in direct message? It's just because you wanted attention. It has nothing else to do with actually helping people. And he's just, a, he's, just a, he's just a cunt. There's a reason why no one works with him. There's a reason why he doesn't compete for shows. There's a reason why he doesn't – why he's left multiple teams. There's a reason why he has to open up his own gym. He just burns bridges with everybody. Sure, I talk shit to people. That's fine. And I do that. And what I say, like when I say people suck, I actually think they do suck. But it's to try to get matches with him. Keenan just talks shit about people because he's just a miserable cunt. He doesn't, he has nothing to accomplish from talking shit. He doesn't accomplish anything. He doesn't get a match. He doesn't make any more money. He doesn't, he just talks shit to talk shit because he just, that's just who he is. My, like my point is, we literally did everything we could to possibly help him. And he just constantly goes, like behind our backs and post shit and like does shit to try to, to hurt us. I don't understand. Like he didn't even tag me in any of those posts. He actually hid the story posts from me. I couldn't see them. So when I went to his page and tried to click on them, they weren't there. Um, it's just like I literally did. Keenan was like one of my big idols when I was coming up. Like he got his black belt and I was still a blue belt. So I saw like this like, you know, American dude, tall, lanky, skinny guy who was like beating a lot of the Brazilians um, and, you know, doing really well in predominantly a Brazilian sport. And uh, I was like, you know, this is someone who I want to I wanna idolize and I want to take some technique from when I was coming up. I was like a blue and purple and even a brown belt. Um, so he's like been kind of like – I never wanted to hate him because he's like been a guy who I've looked up to for so long. My first time I saw uh, Keenan compete live, it was uh, 2014 Nogi Worlds. Um, he won his division. Then, of course, he lost in the absolute like he always does. Um, but he, he's fought Yuri both times. And um, I think he fought Yuri actually one time. Like he was like one of the first non-Brazilians, like him, Lovato, like those guys were like one of the first non-Brazilians to be dominating uh, in a, you know, in our sport, especially in the gi. Um, so while he hasn't won worlds or anything, like he was doing, you know, I'm not sure. Um, or he fought Yuri maybe both times and he lost both times in the absolute and the end of the end of the division. I'm not, I'm not 100% positive. But that was the first time I saw Keenan. I saw him like passing. I was like, oh, this is, you know, he's doing cool stuff. Um, so I'm, I'm just trying to overlook everything he's, he's done. But he's just such a fucking dirtbag that it's just like, I don't, I don't understand. And more importantly, where was Keenan when Bouchesha, Leandro Lowe, Herberth, where was he attacking these guys' teachers when they were training? If he wants to go and attack John because I'm training, why wasn't he attacking Draculino? Why wasn't he attacking Homolo? Why wasn't he talking shit to those guys' as teachers when they were training? It doesn't make any sense. He's fine with those guys training, but when I train, it's the end of the world, right? Because fuck Gordon. Why wasn't he calling Homolo a scumbag? Why wasn't he calling Draculino a scumbag and saying, he should take control of your students, blah, 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 blah. What happened, with, what happened there? Everybody was skeptical about Keenan. He left from Hawaii. He left Lloyd's. He left Andre's. Everyone's just like, oh, you know, he's just going to come and take our shit and then leave. And I was like, no, you know, he's a cool dude. And he literally just keeps on backstabbing me time and time and time and time and time again. And this is the first thing I ever said anything about it because, I, like I said, I don't want to hate Keenan because he was like one of the guys I looked up to. But he's just such a fucking dickbag. It's literally like dealing with a chick. It's like dealing with a woman.
I love everybody who's mad at me being like, well, if you didn't have jujitsu, you would be delivering pizzas or you would be packing my grab my bags at the grocery store. It's like, uh, so you're saying if I didn't spend the last 10 years of my life working 12 to 16 hour days, uh, giving up most of the joys of life, being extremely dedicated and disciplined, uh, and doing everything that I possibly could to be successful, that I wouldn't be successful. Uh, yeah, if LeBron James came out of high school smoking meth and not playing basketball, then he probably wouldn't be a basketball star. What kind of fucking stupid logic is that? If Donald Trump shot himself in the head 10 years ago, he probably wouldn't be president now. Like, what the fuck are you idiots talking about? Like, anyone who's saying that is just rationalizing themselves being a lazy piece of shit and is mad that I am not one of those people. Like, I was able to dedicate myself to get to a point where I'm the best ever in no gi jiu jitsu. You don't think if I would have concentrated on something else that I wouldn't have also been successful in that? Like, what kind of thought, like, what kind of thought process do you guys go through when you post these comments?